हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द न्यू सेशन सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फ्यू प्रॉब्लम्स अबाउट द फोर ईयर साइन एंड कोसाइन ट्रांसफॉर्म राइट सो वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद दैट सो टुडेज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज द थर्ड क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर सॉल्विंग इज वी नीड टू फाइंड द फोर ईयर साइन ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू विच इज गिवन एज ई टू द पावर माइनस मॉड एक्स एंड ऑल्सो वी नीड टू शो दैट the interval from 0 to infinity x sin mx divided by 1 plus x square is equal to this value that is pi by 2 into e to the power minus m where m value is given as it is m is strictly greater than 0 okay so first we need to find the fourier sign transform we know that by the definition of fourier sign transform it is given as fs of s is equal to 0 to infinity f of x into sin s x into d x. So now substitute the value of uh, f of x here e to the power minus mod x sin s x into d x. So now here uh, in the uh, we have here e to the power mod x. So we have that we know that uh, for mod x we have two values that is one is minus x and one is and one is plus x. It it is minus x when the value of x is negative. That is the value of x lies between minus infinity to zero. But here in this case, directly in the, in the definition itself in the integral, it is given that the limits are from zero to infinity, right? So in zero to infinity means the x value is positive. So we can directly write it as e to the power minus x itself. Okay? It is a positive x since the limits are from zero to infinity. So now again, this is of the form of e to the power um, uh, ax cos uh, sine bx plus c, right? For that also we have solved so many problems related to that. I am going to directly write it. That is e to the power ax in place of a there is minus one, so minus x divided by minus one whole square. That is one plus b square in place of b we have s square into Minus uh, a, so a value here is minus one, so minus of sine s x b x plus sorry minus s cos s x, and the limits are from zero to infinity. So now again in this we can take one by one plus s square common, and e to the power minus x common for these two terms that is minus sine s x. Minus s cos s x. So now apply the limits. One divided by one plus s square. E to the power upper limit is infinity. Minus sine infinity infinity replace the value of x by infinity infinity into anything is infinity again. Minus s cos infinity minus the lower limit e to the power zero. Minus sine zero minus s cos zero. So here we know that e to the power minus infinity is zero, so this whole term is zero now. Sine zero is zero. One by one plus s square into minus into minus is plus, and e to the power zero is equal to one, along with s cos zero. We know that cos zero is again equal to one, so that we have left with the term s. So the final f inverse uh, Fourier sign transform is given by s divided by one plus s square. Okay. So now using this, we need to evaluate one case that right. For that, we need the inverse Fourier sign transform. So now we are going to use that. So the integral of uh, inverse Fourier sign transform is given as two by pi from zero to pi. F S of S that is Fourier sign transform into sine S X into D S that is again equal to F of X, right? Okay, so now again with this we are going to replace it by F of X is equal to two by pi zero to pi. The value of F of uh, here we have got here is S divided by one plus S square into 
sin sx into ds and here we got uh, in the question f of x is given as e to the power minus mod x right and mod x here since the interval is from 0 to infinity it is e to the power minus x 2 by pi 0 to infinity s divided by 1 plus s square sin sx into ds so now bring this pi, uh, 2 by pi to the other side so it will be pi by 2 into e power minus x is equal to 0 to infinity s sin x sx divided by 1 plus s square into ds so now we are nearly reached the solution so in the question it's given that we need to prove it at x sin mx right x sin mx divided by 1 plus x square is equal to pi by 2 into e to the power minus m but we here we have got it as pi by 2 into e to the power minus x right so in order to make the this term equal to the condition given in the question well we are just we need to replace the value of x by m in this whole equation okay so now we need to put x is equal to m and let's see what the equation would be looking like so now if we replace the value of x by m it would be pi by 2 into e to the power minus m is equal to 0 to infinity s sin s m x is replaced by m divided by 1 plus s square into ds yeah so now we are nearly reaching the answer that is in the question it's given as x sin m x divided by 1 plus x square right so here nothing much to do we need to replace the parameter s by x so that we will get the answer that is 0 to infinity so wherever s is there we replace it by x so x sin m x s is there so 1 plus s square would be become now x square ds would be dx and the left side is same that is pi by 2 into e to the power minus m so we have shown that it is it was given in the question to show this right so we have shown that x sin mx integral divided by 1 plus x square is equal to pi by 2 into e to the power minus m okay so this was the first question so we have one more uh, few more questions so now we are going to solve this so this is your next question we need to find the Fourier sine transform of f of x uh, where f of x has the three following values that is f of x is 4x when x lies between 0 to 1 and it is 4 minus x when x lies between 1 to 4 and it is 0 when x is strictly greater than 4 okay so now we will apply the formula for Fourier sine transform it is given as fs of f of x is equal to 0 to infinity f of x sin sx into dx so now we are going to split the limits that is from 0 to infinity right so first we are going to write it from 0 to 1 then 1 to 4 then greater than 4 so 4 to infinity so now f of of x is given as now first interval is from 0 to 1 now in 0 to 1 the value of f of x is 4x right sin sx into dx plus now the interval is from 1 to 4 and the f of x value is 4 minus x sin sx dx plus 4 to infinity the value of f of x is 0 sin sx into dx so here we have 0 f of x is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 and the integral of integral of 0 is 0 itself so this term I'll we can neglect it so now for these two terms we are going to solve this okay so take this 4 outside and uh, do the Bernoulli's rule for the rest of the function that is x right first function as it is into the integration of second function that is minus cos sx by s minus the differentiation of x is 1 into the integral of integrated function that is minus sin 
s x by s square and the limits are from 0 to 1 plus the second function that is first functionalities into the integral of sin is minus cos s x divided by s minus the differentiation of 4 minus x four, differentiation of 4 is 0 and minus x is minus 1 into minus sin s x by s square and the limits are from 1 to 4 so now apply the limits that is 4 into the upper limit is 1 1 into minus cos s right value of x is 1 so s by s plus sin s by s square minus into minus is plus minus the lower limit that is 0 into cos 0 by s right plus again minus into minus is plus so plus sin 0 by s square okay plus for the second function apply the limits again 4 minus the upper limit is 4 so 4 minus 4 into minus cos x is 4 right so it is 4s by s minus into minus is plus and plus into minus is again minus sin 4s by s square minus the lower limit that is 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 is 3 and here we have minus so minus 3 cos x is 1 so cos s by s minus sin s by s square so again minus into minus is plus and plus into minus is minus so this is minus sin s by s ok so now we can cancel few terms here that is 0 into anything is 0 right so this is 0 sin 0 is 0 so this term can gets cancelled so 4 minus 4 is 0 so along with that this whole term would be 0 ok so now let us write the remaining terms 4 into minus cos s by s right plus sin s by s square bracket close this 4 is only for this integral not for the whole one ok minus plus into minus is minus so minus sin 4s by s square minus minus plus 3 cos s by s again minus minus plus sin s by s square so now multiply 4 to these two terms that is minus 4 cos s right by s and plus 4 sin s by s square minus sin 4s by s square plus 3 cos s by s plus sin s by s square so here we can see that this and this we can group it together cos s by s is common and minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1 and 4 sin s by s square plus sin s by s square that is equal to 5 sin s by s square so now we can write the final answer so the final answer is minus 4 plus 3 cos s by s right it is equal to minus cos s by s plus 5 sin s by s square minus sin 4s by s square so this is your final answer ok so now we will solve one more problem so this is the next question that is we need to find the Fourier cosine transform of f of x the same way we have three set of values for f of x that is f of x is x when x lies between 0 to 1 and it is 2 minus x when x is between 1 to 2 and it is 0 when x is greater than 2 ok so f c of s is given as 0 to infinity f of x into cos s x right it is Fourier cosine transform so cos s x into dx again we need to split the limits that is we need to write it as f c of s 0 to 1 in 0 to 1 the value of f of x is x cos s x dx plus from the interval 1 to 2 
टू माइनस एक्स कॉस एफ एक्स इन टू डी एक्स सो फ्रॉम द इंटरवल टू टू इन्फिनिटी द वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एक्स इज जीरो राइट सो आई एम नॉट राइटिंग इट अगेन सो फॉर दीज टू वी नीड टू सॉल्व apply the bernoulli's rule first function into the integral of second function integral of cos is sin minus the differentiation of x is 1 minus cos sx by s square limits are from 0 to 1 plus 2 minus x as it is Integ integration of cos is sin minus of Uh, differentiation of 2 is 0 and minus x is minus 1 minus cos sx by s square and the limits are from 1 to 2 so now apply the limits so first the upper limit is here 1 so it is 1 into sin s by s minus into minus is plus cos s by s square minus the lower limit that is 0 0 into sin 0 by s minus into minus plus cos 0 by s square plus for the this the upper limit is 2 so it is 2 minus 2 into Uh, sin 2s by s minus minus plus and plus minus is again minus cos 2s by s square minus the lower limit that is 2 minus 1 is 1 so i am writing it as sin s by s here the value of s is x is 1 since 2 minus 1 is 1 it is actually 1 sin s by s i have written sin s by s Minus again, cos s by s square. Okay, so now let's uh, eliminate these brackets and we'll put it together now. All the terms. Before that, we can cancel some terms, right? Here. So zero into anything is zero, so this is zero. Two minus two is zero, so this whole term becomes zero. So the remaining terms are sin s by s. Plus cos s by s square minus into plus is minus and cos zero is one right so minus one by s square plus into minus is minus so minus cos two s by s square again minus sin s by s minus into minus plus cos s by s square we need to be very careful by writing the signs okay if we if there are brackets outside please check the signs as well because uh, those are very confusing part you might get the wrong solution and you might lose the marks okay so here we can cancel my sin s by s and minus sin s by s right and we can add cos s by s square and cos s by s square so the remaining terms here are cos s by x square plus cos s by x square is equal to 2 cos s by s square minus cos 2 s by s square minus 1 by s square so here we can see that 1 by s square is common for all the terms take that outside and the final answer which we get is equal to 1 by s square into 2 cos s minus cos 2s minus 1 so this is your required answer okay here yeah, so that's all for this session we have solved uh, many problems so in the next session we are going to uh, solve uh, these problems itself but by using a new method that is the integral would, instead of giving the f of x values and f of s values the direct integral would be given by using that we need to use the uh, we need to first identify uh, the seeing the integral that whether it is a fourier sine transform or cosine transform after that we are going to solve those okay yeah so that's all for this session thank you